I'm like DeQuinn Evans. I'm from Compton, California. I'm in here for several charges, a couple of them violations. My experience here has been, it's been a good experience. I learned a lot of things. I'm, my academic level went up a lot. I'm playing football right now. My goal is to get off probation, play football for a junior college, and hopefully get a scholarship to a four-year university. Just trying to do my best and go home, get out of here. I've been here for nine months, go home in December. That's really it. Handle my business on the house, so I ain't got to come back to a place like this. Tell me all about how you got here. It was it's a whole lot of stuff. It was a couple of violations, hidden run, stolen cars. Wait, wait, wait one second for that announcement. Okay, start over for me. Ready and go. I had a couple of violations, stole the car, hit and run, tried to get away from the police, spit on the police officer, so they got me for assault on the police. Um, Felling drug tests, a lot of pity stuff add up to a lot. That's really it. Missing school, hanging out with my friends, staying out past curfew, stuff like that. And how long are you here for? I'm here for nine months. This your first time in a camp? It's my third camp program. I've been a minute hall twice. Yeah. All right, well, since I've been out of camp, I've been attending Cabrillo High School. I've been going there for about the past three to four months now. And every day I get up in the morning, say about 6.30, I'm out the house by like 7.30, make it to school around 8 o'clock. Um, I, got, I only got four periods because I made up on a lot of credits when I was in camp. So I really don't have to make up on too many credits. I'm graduating on time, walking the stage. I got, in my, I got myself involved in um, track and field at Cabrillo High School. So I go to school from about 8.15 and then track practice start at 1.20 because school let out at 1.15. So I go to track practice from about 1.20 to I say about 4 o'clock, 4.30. We run track, we just condition, and then we do bleachers, have us do bleachers, all this other type of stuff. And we go to the weight room. After we come out the weight room, I can just go, go to the liquor store, go grab me like a little, <clears throat> little Gatorade, bag of chips or something, and then just come and catch the bus home. That's basically my day right there. I just come home, probably finish up some homework, eat dinner, and go to sleep. And, Taking my clothes, getting ready for the next day. That's that's basically my day since I've been home from camp. My goal is to hurry up and graduate. I'm not in no rush, but I'm just hoping to graduate and everything work out cool. <clears throat> and I'm trying to get myself to a junior college because I missed out on my last year, my senior year of playing high school football because of my situations that I had to do when I went to camp. So. I'm over here trying to go to Cerritos College. And, um, I got myself enrolled and everything, and everything's been working out real cool. So I start up there right when, right when I graduate, so that'll be sometime in June, July. That's the time I'll be going to school up there. I'll just be up there playing football, and once football over, I'll be running track. And that's basically it. I'm The max I'm gonna be there is for two years, because I'm trying to get a scholarship out to whatever university ex accepts me. I'm really trying to go to Cal Berkeley University. I like that football program and that coaching staff up there, and I think they got a good program academic-wise. So that's, that's my goal is really just to go out there. And I got a lot of fallback dreams too, just in case football don't work out or injuries happen or something, anything like that, anything like that. So I'm trying to go into, um, I have a lot, of, I'm, I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to know how to do stuff where I don't have to ask nobody like doing a little bit of plumbing, like housework, know about cars a lot. Then I need to know about like, I want to I wanna learn about like how to fix stuff around the house so people like, so I won't have to call people up like a plumber, electrician, um, like 
mechanics, anything that'll do with any kind of mechanics I want to know how to do. Um, just a lot of stuff like that. Carpenty, car carpeting, um, you know what I'm saying? All, all, that, all that type of stuff I want to learn how to learn how to do like around the house and just in case something messes up with my car because nowadays people be trying to get you for out your money like something that only be like a ten dollar part wrong but if you take it like to the shop it'll be like a hundred and fifteen dollars I'll try to say that's for maintenance work so I'm trying to do stuff where I know what I'm doing and it's only gonna cost me the ten dollars plus I already got the experience to get it done also I'm trying to learn like how to um, blueprint houses and build houses because my dad was a construction worker and he always had tools under his belt. So I'm trying to get that under my belt too. That's that's my fallback plans, but my major goal is to make it in football and play in the National Football League and just have success over that and move my mom out out the place where, where we live. And it's not that bad, it's not too ghetto -ish. it's just that we just, uh, my mom deserved better than this. That's, that's, that's basically it, though. Talking to talking to Joker, he said, you know, the effort and the energy you guys put out there is really good. It's the little things that you all need to work on. Right. What What does it take to get those little things uh, done? I think little things are uh, knowing your assignments, getting off on the ball. Um, you know what I mean. Reading your keys. Um, know what you do. You know mentally before you get out there. Don't get beat physically. And then you know just the fundamentals of football. You know, just you can't, you can't. Coaches, when it's game time and scrimmage time, they want to go out there and just tell you to play. They don't want to have to sit up here and tell you to get down in your stance and, you know what I mean, keep your eyes up and keep your head on the swivel. They want to just tell you to go out there because you know what you're doing because they've been out here teaching you all the fundamentals the whole time. They figure you're supposed to know what you do when it comes time for the scrimmages and the games. So, how, do, so how do you improve on them not having to ask to do just the keep little on things. working at it. The only thing you can do to get better is just keep working on the little things. And little things, the, the little things are small mistakes, as in bad feet work, poor body language, um, you know, not finishing, um, working hard, run extra, and those are the things you got to work on. Just keep working at the little things, and that way the big things will fall into place, and then, you know, that's that's when you start seeing improvements, when you see the little things get good. Now it's April, you guys are five months away from the season actually beginning. How important is it that you guys are putting out the good energy and the good effort? I mean, it's huge for us, you know. I don't know, no football team that, that wins games that doesn't come out there with good energy. I mean, you see the Floridas, the Alabamas, you know, the USC's, they all firing, fired up and flying around all the time. So, you know, that's that's what we got to have at the, that's what we got to have at the table. And as long as we're doing that, I don't think nothing can stop us. Because, you know, we, I don't, I don't think we have the best talent as everybody, but I know for a fact there's nobody that's outworking us right now. So is effort going to be the key for you guys this season? Yeah, effort, of course. You know, since we're not as talented as everybody else, you know, we don't have as much depth as all these other SEC teams. You know, that's what we got to do. We got to physically outbeat them and don't get beat and then just, you know, play with relentless effort and then just, just stay, just, just keep working hard, just outwork everybody. And you guys lost a lot of leadership from last season. Who's stepping up this year? Do you see yourself in that role? I mean, I, I, I'm not too much of a rah rod guy, you know, so I come out here and step up and just try to come out here and, and, and practice as hard as I can. And, and try to be mistake free, you know what I mean? As hard as I can, I'm not, you know what I mean? But the main thing I try to do is just come and get better every day, keep working hard, and hopefully, you know, it's contagious and people feed off, it, you know? So that, that's, 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 that's what kind of leadership role I think I bring to But if they, if they need a raw rock guy, do you feel like you got yeah, that in mean, you to yeah, do Yeah, I, I step it up, but I'm not always, you know, hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, that, that's not me, you yeah. know? So, but, but, but when it's down to crunch time and, you know, I see everybody looking down, I'm gonna be like, come on, man, pick it, pick it up. Let's, let's get this thing popping out here, man. It's football. This main thing, you know, that I've seen on the sideline, I didn't get to play. You know, a lot of cats look like, you know, they, they, they were looking depressed. You Saturday, know? About Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. And I was on the sideline trying to cheer everybody on because this is something you love to do. You know, this is something you're supposed to love to do. I understand it's not always gonna be a happy situation when you mess up on a play or something, but, you know, you're out here playing football. This thing.
things that people have been doing since you were little kids. So if you're not having fun doing it, most likely you're not going to have a good game. People that are good in things, they usually have fun doing them. Or people that have fun in things, they're usually good doing them. So, you know, that's that's how I was just trying to bring back, you know, the, the kid in the sport a little bit. Right. Is that, you know what I mean? Yeah, is it not surprising? Is it kind of not surprising, though, considering how much leadership you all lost? And maybe that's something that you all still got to work out right now. Y'all lost a lot of seniors. Who yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, we did lose a lot of seniors. But, you know, this is a perfect time for guys to step up, including myself. So that's what I'm trying to do. And, you know, and, 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 the, and the, um, the leaders before us, they weren't big Ron Rock guys either. You know what I mean? So, you know, a lot of people just, they, they did the stuff off the field to be a leader, you know, and then they did stuff on the field to be a leader. You know, a big leader was Corey Peters, this guy that I looked up to a lot. And, you know, he's a guy getting honor rolls every time in class. And, you know, he always, he hardly makes mental mistakes, you know, because he studies the game so well. And then he really didn't say nothing to really pump us up or nothing. But just him doing that and working hard every day and him studying the playbook the way that he did, I fed off that. So, you know, that's that. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not a big studier like him, but I play the game as hard as I can. So that's what I try to bring to the rest of my D-line and the defense. I, I came up at the end of this, so I just want to make sure I was right. Did you say you got recognized by people at a basketball game? Yes. When you when you came on your recruiting visit, yeah. and given the the reputation of this place, did that surprise you at all? The basketball fans are recognizing did. the football it recruits. It did. It did. It surprised me a lot, and it made me feel real good. It made me feel like that the fans really care about the sports here and about the football program, and it almost helps you play better, play better when you have the support and love from the fans out there. Uh, Chris was saying that he he thought aggressiveness was maybe was was your strength. What what do you think your your strength is as a player? I'm very aggressive. I feel like you want to be a good football player if you're not aggressive. I'm, I try to be the most aggressive man on the field out there, especially D-line. We, we play one of the most toughest positions out there. So, yeah, aggressive is, 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 is I feel like my number one key is my motor, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I get after it all four quarters, all the time. I'm always on the move, always going, always going. That's why I have to be in tremendous shape because it fits my game plan. It fits my game style. And, and to stay in shape. I, I do I do a bunch of stuff. Uh, well, really, that keeps me in shape is Mark Hill's vicious workouts. He 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 puts us through it. He puts us through it. through the weight room. He knows he knows how much to push you and how much not to push you. So he knows when to stop before you you know before your body starts getting fatigued because you got to come back the next day and do it all again. So you know just this this good strength and conditioning program is great. And before I was here, I would just run a bunch of sand hills, a bunch of hills. And, you know, just, just doing stuff like that. I was in the D1 workout because my cousin played for USC. So I would work out with him all the time, too. Who's your cousin? When Herschel did he, Dennis. When did he play? And he played uh, two years ago, okay. 2007. Uh -huh. Sonic, you're ready to play today. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get after it. I'm, I'm so excited. And uh, this is probably one of the most exciting moments in my life coming out here. I would have never thought I would have been in Kentucky playing SEC football in a million years growing up. And uh, it's, 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 it's truly a dream come true to be out here and playing on the bluegrass. Chris What's told us what to expect out of you. What should we expect out of Chris Matthews? Oh, Chris Matthews is a beast. Um, I've seen this game elevate since 2007 to right now. Um, some of the most amazing catches in the world that I've ever seen in person. Um, he's a very aggressive. He's, he's a good blocker. He has a great work ethic. He's always trying to get better. He's um he's a real good dude and a solid. He's a real good solid character kind of guy. Real so good guy to have a friend. No, nah, nobody can block him. <laughs>